make yourself comfortable. Let me just sanitize my hands real quick. even just the littlest bit better. So, my name is Calliope, and would you mind just confirming your name and date of birth for me? Okay. Excellent. And is that your preferred name, and how do you like to be addressed? Excellent. So, looks like you're having some troubles with your ears. Is that correct? Okay. Let's get a few questions out of the way before we dive into that, all right? Okay. Any current pain or illness at all? Right. Okay. And anything else? And any changes to the medical history that we have on file? And what about your family history? Any changes there? Good. And what about your allergies? Any changes to that? Good. And what about your medication list? all up to date. Excellent. All right. So, let's circle back to your ears. What exactly has been going on with them lately? Is it more on the left side or the right side for you? Okay, it's pretty even. Alright, and any hearing impairment or loss at all on either side? Not that you're aware of. And on a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being not bothersome at all, and 10 being the worst pain you've ever experienced, how would you rate the discomfort or pain with your ears? Okay, very good. So, let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? I'm going to pop on some gloves, and then I'm going to grab my otoscope, and we'll take a look at both the outside of the ear as well as the inside. See if we can figure out what's going on with you. So give me just a moment. Afraid it's a touch humid, so the, the gloves like to fight me a little. They like to wrestle. Left hand, not so much. Excellent. I have dominion over the gloves. So let's go ahead and get the otoscope ready. So, I'm going to grab a little speculum here. And then we're 
we're just going to pop this onto our otoscope head. Give it a little twist. There we go. So that's all ready to go. And I'm going to start with taking a look at the outsides of your ears before we look at the inside. All right. So please let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. This is really important for me to know. It helps me figure out what's going on, okay? All right. So from this point forward, I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Thank you. I appreciate that. So let's start. Let's go ahead and start with this side, okay? So, I'm just going to take a little look here. So, your ear doesn't look as if it has any, any redness or swelling just on the outside. Looks like there might be. Let me get the light. So, oh, okay. I see. So, there is a little bit of redness just by the ear canal, just by the opening there. And that could be from whatever you're afflicted by. It could be. Have you happened to be scratching at that area? Okay, so that's also what it could be as well. So we'll just take we'll just take a little look here. Okay. Might just feel me feeling around the ear, pulling it one way or the other. Okay. And do you mind if I just pull just want to look behind. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and just pull it back. Okay. All right. So I'm not seeing anything back here. Okay. So let's go ahead and put the ear back. All right. So besides that touch of redness, I'm not seeing anything on the outer ear, which is good. I'm going to look at the other ear now. And let's see if there's anything going on here. Okay. Let me just see if I see that redness over here. Okay. It's a little more red here, I think. Definitely curious to see what's going on inside the ear. Maybe I'll just feel around. Are you having any pain or tenderness with this? No. seeing anything back here. I'm just going to... I'm just going to put that back. Alright. I'm going to do a little bit of bilateral palpation. Alright? So I'm just going to be feeling around the ears at the same time, around the same places. Please let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Okay? We're going to start down by the lobe. And work our way up. And around the helix. Anything? Okay, what if I just press into the trigus here? No? Okay. Alright, and if I just feel around here. 
good. Let's go ahead and grab the otoscope. All right. So I'll go ahead and start with this ear again. And I'm just going to be taking our otoscope and having a little look in your ear. I'll be just inserting the ear, inserting the ear, inserting the otoscope into the ear rather, not the ear into the otoscope. And taking a little peek at what's going on inside, okay? Again, please let me know if you experience any pain or discomfort, right? Thank you. Okay. So let's go ahead and just pull the ear up and back to straighten out the ear canal. And then let's go ahead and just take a look. All right. So I think I've got myself in a good position. Let me just similar story, right? I'm just going to pull the ear up and back. Insert the otoscope. Okay. And that looks like a good spot. Right? Okay. I see. Yes, it's definitely the same over here. Alright, there's a little bit more, I think. That might be why you've been itching more in this area. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to fix that, I think. Okay, let me go ahead and just straighten this out and then pull the otoscope out. Okay. Alright. Wow. Well, looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of work here. But, should this be the only thing that's going on, then it's a rather easy thing to fix. Let me just note this down. Okay, so. Okay. Alright, so... First, I would like to break apart and pull out what I can with a bit of tweezers and a little curette. And then afterwards, if we still have quite a bit left, then we're going to dissolve that and get the ear canal all cleaned out, okay? Alright, so this might be a touch, I don't want to say uncomfortable, but it might feel a little strange. I mean, I'm going to be really up close in your ears, and I'm going to have the little tools in your ears, and the hydrogen peroxide will bubble as it dissolves everything, so it might feel a little strange. But if anything's painful, please let me know, okay? And if any part of the manual extraction is painful, then we can just go with the chemical extraction, and that shouldn't really have any pain, okay? All right, so let me grab my tools real quick. Okay, very good. So, let's 
go ahead and start pulling some of that out of your ears, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna start on this side and then I'm just going to be scraping out and pulling with my little forceps, my tweezers here, okay? Now, I don't want you to worry. I have been doing this for quite a long time. I'm very careful about pulling only the cerumen, not on the little hairs, and making sure that I'm not scraping you at all, okay? All right, I just need you to sit still for me. Any sudden movements and you might have a bit of an issue, but as long as you stay still, it will be okay. All right. Sometimes we need to bring out the tweezers and just very gently pull. Pull. So I'm thinking based on the consistency of the serum in here that we're primarily going to be relying on our on our chemical extraction which is fine More of an Eastern Asian descent, for example, Korean, Chinese, Japanese people. They have a gene that makes their earwax much more dry. And we don't generally have to go the chemical route with them. We can just just do the manual. Okay, and just taking the tweezer, pulling out a little bit. we'll get just a little bit more. Just trying to get more of these bigger pieces, just more broken up at the very least. We have to be very delicate with the ears. And since we're doing this manual In addition to the chemical one, it'll take a lot less 
peroxide to dissolve everything. It can be a little bit of a mess and sometimes a little uncomfortable. I think we've just got a little bit more here. Okay, let me see if I can tweeze that. Okay. Maybe just All right, we can always dissolve the rest of it, so that's just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on your other ear, all right? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm just going to take our little scrapey tool here. Scrapey, scrapey. And we'll just work at this for a little bit. More than welcome to close your eyes, just relax. This can be a really relaxing process. Just very rhythmic. And not exactly mindless, but it's not something that I have to that I have to be dedicating all of my brain power to. Just mostly pull this out. Just be careful. That's about it. Just clean up your ear and be careful. Okay. And back to the scrapey. This one's coming a little easier, I think. Let me see if I can just do a little bit more. See if 
if I can get just a little bit more with the tweezer. Let's leave it at that. We can take care of the rest with, with our peroxide. Okay. So, let me get my items ready here. So, I am going to be using a little dropper here. And I'm going to be using just some standard hydrogen peroxide here. And this is going to dissolve the remaining cerumen, all right? So, you're gonna feel, usually feels pretty cold, okay? And it's gonna be a little bubbly, okay? So you might hear little tiny bubbles as it dissolves everything. Now, I'm going to be just taking a little bit with my dropper and dropping it into the ear, okay? I have a little bowl as well to catch anything that falls out. And then we're gonna wait and after 30 seconds to a minute, just kind of depends on, on how much there is, then we will drain out your ear, okay? and then we'll get you cleaned up. All right, so again, please let me know if there's any pain or discomfort. Okay, just going to pour a bit here. start on this side, okay? Alright, so let me grab our little bowl. And I'm just going to just drop, drop. Okay. Just hold that there for a moment. seem to be working more great. Okay, and now what I'm going to have you do, is I'm going to have you tilt your head to the side, all right? Okay, so then you're going to feel almost a little vacuum effect, and it's going to funnel down into the ear, and it's going to bubble, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to have you hold your head like that. We'll give it just a little bit to bubble and dissolve. And I'm going to grab clean tissue. And then I'll just be putting it over the ear and have you flip back. Just a little bit longer. ahead and flip it back. I'm going to put this on your ear. Okay, now if you could just come back and go to the other side. Good, we'll give this a moment. Okay, all right, come back to center. Okay, so let me just take a little look. Just a quick peek, see if we need to do that again. Okay, yep. Yes, we do. There's not much left, but just enough that I want to do that again. So, let's 
go ahead and just have you sit there and I'm just going to and I'll just stay here for a moment. Okay, now if you could turn your head to the side. Just going to massage your ear a little bit. Just pull the earlobe back and forth. And that helps straighten and then straighten the canal. Moving that around a bit. You could turn your head to the side. sure we'll have to do it again, but I just want to check. Yep. Yep. That's all. So now if you could flip your head to the side. And wait just a little bit while that fizzes and bubbles, okay? Ready? 
this area in and then just go ahead and have you tilt your head back What's the weirder part? Having the liquid go in or having it come back out of your ear? I always think it's going out. <laughs> so you almost have to get re acclimatized to to the world. As your hearing just feels a little different, your ears feel strange, you know. Okay, so Let's go ahead and just real quick, I'm going to clean up the outside of the ear, all right, just with some saline here. Okay, I'm just going to go around. And this is just real quick. We'll do we'll do a better job after I double check. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Let's start on the side. Okay. There's just a little bit of redness, but that could be from the blockage. So it's just more pink, it's not really an angry red. So it's probably just irritation. But we'll have you keep an eye on that. And look at that tympanic membrane. scope out and then let's go ahead and check the other side okay all right so just pulling up back okay and getting that getting that centered all right all good okay so All right, I think we did a good job. So let's go ahead and get you cleaned up for real this time, okay? So let me grab a couple of cotton buds here and we'll get some more saline. Okay. And let's get you Oh 
moisturizer. This hydrogen peroxide is very drying to the skin. Now, your ear canal should be okay. The serum in that waxy substance coats everything. It'll probably be alright. But outside of the ear, we don't want this getting all, all dry and irritated. So, we'll just do a little bit of, technically it's face moisturizer, a little bit of moisturizer, and that should keep that irritation down. I love peroxide, but man, does it dry out everything. Well, that's good inside your ear. We don't have to worry about, don't have to worry about the fluid staying there. Okay, and let's grab a tissue. Let's get everything else. Okay. So while we're here, just cleaning the whole thing. Be putting moisturizer on it all anyway. And any super cool plans after this? They're fresh and shiny ears. <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly an occasion worth like going out and celebrating, but it does feel nice, yeah? Let me grab another tissue and we'll get that all dried off. Okay. We'll give that a moment. Let's grab our other cotton bud here. Just a little bit, a little bit of dissolved serum in, just on the outside of the canal. But got that all cleaned up. So, little question. Have you noticed that your hearing's any better at all? For some people, when you clean out their ears, the blockage was so gradual that they didn't really notice that their hearing was impaired. And then all of a sudden, everything's really loud. But some people don't have any loss at all. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Let's grab, to grab another tissue here. Okay, there we go. A little serum in. Or a little saline, rather. That would have been weird. Okay. I'm just cleaning off the rest. Even getting behind the ears be surprised how many people don't pay attention to behind their ears. But because of that, that's where a lot of things can lurk. See a lot of lesions, skin cancer kind of deal there. So just once in a while, make sure you're make sure you're getting that nice and clean. Some face wash, some facial moisturizer will do the trick that healthy. Okay. 
Alright, let's get you dried up. Have one last tissue. just going to apply it with a new little cotton bud here, okay? I'm just gonna go all around the little loops and crevices as well as behind the ear, okay? ears are soaking this up real quick. I mean, it's, it's a very easily absorbed moisturizer. Doesn't leave much behind, doesn't take too long to be absorbed, but ears definitely need it a little, a little bit. pretty good too. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and finish our report. So since that blockage was was um, pretty widespread there, I would like to see you back in at most six months, okay? You can choose between three months or six months if you'd like, and we'll take a look at your ears and if they need to be cleaned again, then we can do that, all right? So. We're not sure if you produce a little more earwax or if this was a one-off thing. So that's what this follow-up appointment is going to be about. If you feel like this is something that happened pretty quickly and you'd like to get that looked at sooner, then you can choose the three months. If this just felt like kind of a one-off deal to you, then you can choose the six months if you'd like. And then we can, we can go from there and see if maybe we need to do more regular cleanings. So from here, to help minimize the 
blockage risk. While I use cotton buds in the office here, these, these little guys right here, I want you to leave these to the professionals when it comes to the ear canal, okay? These do not go into the ear canal. You can do just by the opening, but they should not be going in, okay? With the blockage that you had, if you would have done that, even though this looks pretty absorbent, what it's going to do is it's just going to push all that back. And then we could have been dealing with temporary or permanent hearing loss. We could have been dealing with a lot of damage, needed a lot more intervention than just a little office visit, okay? So we just want to be mindful of that. This does not go inside the ear. You can do the outside and you can do the outside of the opening, but that's it, okay? So, I also want you to just leave your ears alone. For the most part, they are self-regulating mechanisms, and I also want to be able to see if we need to professionally clean them more often. So, I want you to leave them alone, all right? Leave the cleaning to me, and we can more accurately determine what your ears are doing if they need a little bit of help, okay? All right, any questions for me at all? No? Okay, let me go ahead and sign off here. Right. And I will have you make that follow-up appointment at the front desk, all right? Okay. Thank you so much for coming to my office for this ear cleaning. It was a pleasure working with you. I hope you have a whale of a day. And a good rest of your night. Thank you. Goodbye now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video. Subscribe.